Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to May Bible Journal. Today we are on day 28. And the prompt is the word Mark. I expected to have to go to Revelation 13 to use the word Mark there. Um, the one that talks about not being able to buy or sell unless you had the mark. But I was happy to find it used in other places as well, even though not many translations use the word mark. Some use the word seal. Um, I liked two different verses. Um, well, two verses, two different um, Bibles. The first one I'm going to read is the NLT, New Living, and it is 2 Corinthians 1, verses 21 and 22. It is God who enables us, along with you, to stand firm for Christ. He has commissioned us and he has identified us as his own by placing the Holy Spirit in our hearts as the first installment that guarantees everything he has promised us. Yeah, wow. And then the same verse in the Berean Study Bible. Now it is God who establishes both you and us in Christ. He anointed us, placed his seal on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a pledge of what is to come. So I made some notes. The word seal or mark, which is um, the New Century version, is how they use the word mark. <clears throat> In the NLT, it refers to being identified. He identified us as his own by placing the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Some versions, or many, used the word sealed there. So, the word identified. Um, I got a revelation of this when I was driving down the street early one morning, and um, we were observing some compromised individuals that didn't look like they had a home and they were they looked displaced and it was really early in the morning and we observed um some people a group of people coming towards them and i remember saying to my son those aren't just ordinary people those are professional what i would call professionals in the sense that they had uniforms they had a specific vehicle that they arrived in so to me those were identifiers you can tell who someone is or what their job is by how they dress and for instance a badge or um, a uniform you know like paramedics have one kind of uniform firemen have another kind so those are identifiers and that's what a mark is. A mark is an identifier. In the natural, data can and is used by banks to identify. Aside from that, a uniform, badge, even teeth, tattoos, social security numbers, healthcare numbers, fingerprints, voices, facial recognition, account numbers, and medical records can all be used as identifiers. And so, the fact that God has identified us as his own, like identity is huge. Who you belong to determines your outcome. There's many times when um, you're reading the New Testament and you come across the phrase, in Christ. That is an identifier. It, if you are in Christ, you get the rewards. 
If you're not in Christ, you don't belong to him. So it's huge. So my main takeaway, aside from what a, what a mark does and what it is, is that God enables us to stand firm for Christ by the Holy Spirit in us. And the Holy Spirit in us, that first installment, um, the pledge of what is to come, uh, other versions called it a deposit or a down payment, even a security deposit. I like the phrase down payment because we're familiar with that in the sense that, um, well, I don't know if any more, but you used to be able to put like a, I guess deposit, like a 10% deposit down on an item and then they would hold that item for you for a certain amount of time and then you would come back and they would have put that away for you like a layaway plan and when you brought the rest of the money that item would be kept for you. Then it wouldn't be sold to someone else. So that down payment was enough to hold that item for you. So what I did here was just draw some what I would call identifiers. So the police might have a badge. I outlined that in silver. Then there's a tattoo and I just drew a simple rose. So for my identifiers, I have the police badge, a picture of a rose for a tattoo, and then for the seal, I have this wax seal. It's a butterfly. I did the seal this way because uh, the word seal reminds me of how they used to seal envelopes and they would put their like signet ring into the wax and seal it that way. That way you would know if it was tampered with or not. It was supposed to be like a, the original security uh, feature. So anyways, that's what I have for today and uh, We'll see what tomorrow brings. Have a great day, guys. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Bye for now.